Hi everyone, this is Sid and this is one of your major requirement as a college student, di ba? So, in order for you to fulfill this, to pass the subject or course, you must show that you are capable of carrying out research. Simula sa conceptualization stage, through data collection, interpretation, and analysis, hanggang sa preparation of the research output. So in this video, you will learn more about the research paper. So the research paper is popularly known as the term paper. This is a type of academic writing that you will do as you advance your academic career. This is the research output that you will write after conducting actual research that involves data collection, interpretation, and analysis. Dito sa research paper, you will incorporate the comments and suggestions of the experts or the panel member. Sa research paper, dapat din talaga, you'll read a lot of books, literature, or studies that are relevant to your topic. And when you write all of them, dapat you observe the acceptable citation style. In writing your research paper, kasi hindi pwede na you'll just write what you have read, you must logically compile and analyze the data that you have collected and use reliable methods for data collection and compare your findings to those of previous studies. Since the majority of the support ay manggagaling sa research articles, it is better for you to understand the difference between research papers and research articles and articles or formal essays. Para mas madaling mahanap ang mga articles, dapat familiar tayo sa format. So, let us compare the contents of each kind of article. Introduction Related studies or literature, discussion, conclusion, recommendations, methodology, results, and findings. Well, as you can see, the difference are in the presence of methodology and the results and findings. So, as you conduct your research or study, mas madaling malaman kung ito ba ay research paper, research articles, and articles and formal essays. The IMRD format, the introduction, methods, results, and discussion. This is commonly used in writing research papers in most foreign journals. They use IMRD format. So the contents of an IMRD paper are also found in thesis. So now look at this table and take note of the major and the subheadings. Chapter 1, Introduction The Problem and its Setting Theoretical or Conceptual Framework Statement of the Problem Hypothesis of the Study Assumptions of the Study Scope and the Limitations Significance of the Study Definition of Terms In an IMRD format, the Introduction Background of the Study so this part contains the following, but there are no specific sections for them. The review of related literature or studies. Definition of important terms. Significance of the study. Statement of the problem. Theoretical or conceptual framework. Hypothesis of the study. Assumptions of the study. The scope and the limitation sections is absent from the IMRD paper. Instead, the IMRD paper identifies the study's limitation. So this refers to the constraints in the study's conduct. And we are all aware that studies have limitations, right? Which is understandable. So most papers address this in the first paragraph of the results or the discussions section. Chapter 2 or the Review of Related Literature Review of Related Literature Conceptual Literature 
related literature synthesis. The IMRD paper does not have this section. The review of related literature and studies is incorporated in the introduction. Chapter 3, Methodology Research Design, Population, Data Gathering Procedure, Ethical Consideration, Analysis of Data, Statistical Treatment. The section on methodology in both papers contains similar content such as the research design, population, data gathering, procedure, and so on. Chapter 4, Presentation, Analysis, and Interpretation of Data Results, Answers to the Specific Problems of the Study Discussion, Limitation of the Study Analysis, interpretation of data, and implications. It includes the conclusion and the recommendations. In the traditional format, the presentation and discussion, analysis, and interpretations are done in this section. In an IMRD paper, only the results are presented. The analysis is done in the discussion section, which also includes the conclusion and the recommendations. Chapter 5, Summary, Conclusions, and Recommendations. Chapter 5 is a listing of the research problems and summary of findings. Conclusions and recommendations are numbered. In an IMRD format, the conclusion and recommendations are presented in paragraphs. The limitations of the study may also be presented in the conclusion and some papers present them in the results section. So as you can see, the content in thesis sections also appear in the IMRD paper. So the IMRD paper format has a number of advantages. First, it eliminates repetition, so as seen in the traditional five-chapter format. Second, the writing process is also easier to follow because the definition of terms in RRL are already incorporated into the background of the study. So, simula pa lang, you will understand and you will know the importance of those study. Hindi mo na kailangang hintayin na mabasa ang chapter 2. And of course, third advantage is that the researcher gains writing skills from the writing process that are helpful when writing for a potential journal publication. Yung IMRD format, it makes easier for the researcher to provide a more coherent pieces of writing.